Hello everyone and welcome to my first video on Cray Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this glossy effect that you see on Apple ads such as this. It's basically this shine and it kind of brightens up a reflective surface. And you can achieve that by uh, doing what I'm about to show you in this tutorial and there are probably other ways but this is the way I like to do it. You can do this on text and anything else in Photoshop. You can do it on objects and pictures or whatever you want. Alright, so let's begin. Let's make a brand new document. It's going to be a large one with a width of 3000 pixels and a height of 2000 with a resolution of 1000 pixels because I like to keep it at a really extremely high resolution. Alright, let's call this Glossy 2 because we're going to be duplicating this guy. Bam. And for ease of use, I'm just going to duplicate this background. It's basically a white to lightish gray gradient, and then I added noise to it. All right, there we go. Now we can get rid of this layer, and let's go to the text tool. We're already in there. Let's change our font to, let's see, Franklin. I'm looking for Franklin. Franklin M54. That's a great font. All right. And we'll make this bigger, we'll make this around 60 pixels, nice and large. All right. And we will make the type color black. All right, let's type it in. Glossy. And we will fit this in. It's a little too big. Right click, Command T to resize, and you can hold Option Shift to pull in without going to one side and also by keeping it in uh, correct proportion. All right, let's center this guy and press enter. Okay, here we have the solid black word. It's pretty boring right now. So what you can do is go to maybe a darkish gray color and then double click on the text layer and then go to gradient overlay. Now you'll be getting the default black to white, but you can easily change that by clicking the gradient color and then choosing what you have. And also, here you can drag and choose different effects. You can kind of adjust the way the gradient is set. And I like this, this is pretty good, so I'll press OK. All right. Next, we are going to do something special. You guys have probably never seen this um, done in a tutorial like this before, but I think this is a great effect. And we can open up the layer style panel again, and then we can go to satin. And satin is a really cool option. It'll allow you to get a really cool shiny edge effect on your text, and you can also do it on a shape. And let's adjust the distance. Put the opacity all the way up. And there we go. We can put size to zero. And you're starting to see this lightish gray color. It's, or darkish gray color. It's kind of hard to see but you'll see it once we apply the uh, shine effect. All right, let's press OK. And now this is the part where you can do your glossy shine thing. So there are many options to do. You can choose to use the um, circular marquee tool. That's cool. And you can also do the rectangular one. But I like to control the shape of my gloss a little bit. So we're going to be using the pen tool for this demonstration. So what you can do is just draw a curvy line. This is going to be really quick and rough, so bear with me. And yeah, that's pretty good. And then we can just drag it and complete the shape. Bam. And then right click. And then do fill path with white. All right, there we go. Now what you can do is go to your mark, um, the magic wand tool. And then you can select the outer edges and get rid of that strange line thing. And now we need to rasterize the type layer. And I know you guys probably don't like to do it. I don't like to do it either. But this is how um, you can do a layer mask. So now let's go back to this. And you can create a clipping mask. And it'll go right on top there. And clipping max masks are great because you can move it around and not worry about it um, not fitting anymore because I know some people just um, cut the white layer 
in accordance to the shape below it. But this will work better. All right, there you go. And then you can just drop the fill levels to whatever you want. And now you're beginning to see the um, satin coming through. You can see that line. It looks pretty good. Now, um, if you would like to, you can also make a gradient as your gloss. And by doing that, you need to select it and then go click on it and then press the delete button. That'll get rid of it and then we can swap it out with a gradient. So get your white color in, go to the gradient tool, click on the color and then go to transparent. This will allow you to do a transparency in your gradient. And there we go. Now that's how you do it. And you can again adjust the fill to whatever you want. And because I rasterized this, I'm going to step up the glossiness. So as you can see, you can make it even brighter or less. And there we go. That is how you do the glossy uh, effect on your text. Um, you can again, you can do it with the circular marquee tool or the rectangular marquee tool or the pen tool. So uh, yeah, there you go. And this is what it'll look like at the end. As you can see, in when I first did this, I got the shine to be even better. And if you would like to see the effects for that, I will show it to you. I had it on 71 with a distance of 4 and a size of 0 at an angle of 19. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, it's a really nice effect to put on your text and for your logos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is my first video on Cray Graphics, so uh, critique is welcome. And also, let me know what video you'd li you would like me to do next. I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas for another tutorial. Uh, so again, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. And have a good day.